Imagine a time in ancient India when the Deccan Plateau was the heart of a mighty empire, ruled by a king whose name echoed across the lands. A king known not just for his conquests, but for his unparalleled contributions to art, culture, and literature. This is the story of Amogavasha I, one of the greatest monarchs in Indian history. Born into the illustrious Rashtrakuta dynasty, Amogavasha, I ascended the throne at a young age. His rise to power was not without challenges, but this young king was destined for greatness. With wisdom beyond his years, Amogavasha decided to shift the capital of his empire from Ellora to Manyakita, modern-day Malkut, a move that would fortify his kingdom and shape its future. Amogavasha wise reign marked the beginning of a golden age for the Rashtrakutas. While many rulers are remembered for their conquests, Amogavasha chose a different path, one of peace, prosperity, and cultural renaissance. He is often compared to the legendary Ashoka as he prioritized the well-being of his people over expansionist ambitions. But what truly set Amogavasha apart was his passion for the arts and literature. Under his patronage, the Kannada language flourished like never before. He himself was a scholar of repute, authoring the Kaviraja Marga, a monumental work on poetics and grammar. This text not only laid the foundation for Kannada literature, but also showcased the king's deep intellectual prowess. Amogavasha Wai's influence extended beyond the literary world. The architectural marvels of the Rashtrakutas, like the awe-inspiring Kailasa Temple at Ellora, stand as a testament to the dynasty's grandeur. Although his father Krishna V initiated the construction, it was under Amogavasha's reign that the cultural and artistic zenith of the Rashtrakutas was truly realized. Amogavasha I was also a deeply spiritual ruler, heavily influenced by Jainism. His reign saw the spread of Jain philosophy, and he fostered an environment where multiple faiths could coexist peacefully. His philosophical inclinations earned him respect not only as a king, but also as a sage, leading to his title, Atishaya Dharmaraja, or the exceedingly righteous king. Amogavasha. I ruled for an incredible 64 years, one of the longest reigns in Indian history. His legacy is one of wisdom, culture and spiritual depth, a legacy that continues to inspire us today. As we reflect on the life of this extraordinary king, we are reminded of the timeless values of knowledge, peace and prosperity that he championed. Amogavasha. I was not just a king, he was a beacon of enlightenment in an era defined by power and conquest. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the life of Amogavasha Pavets. If you enjoyed this story, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tales of India's rich and... Imagine a time in ancient India when the Deccan Plateau